What's up, Chess Familia? Welcome back to the grind. We're back at 828 again. I think we've been in this elo for quite some time. Probably been here for like a week now. Oh, didn't get E5, thank goodness. Yeah, D4, E5 is like my least favorite thing when I'm playing white. So this should be at least somewhat manageable. Just locked in his light square bishop here. A very trick move here. Very trick move. I think the correct response to this is actually c4. I could be wrong. Hmm. Okay, so bishop gets... can take b5. Hmm. I'm... I'm trying to remember if the idea here is c3 or c4. I think the engine prefers c4, but I think the more human move is to play c3. Mm. Then again, if he does play c4, it locks in my bishop. Uh, I'm just going to try c4 and hope for the best here. This is one of the first players that I've played that's actually played c5 against the London system. I don't think I've had a game recently, or in a really long time, where someone's actually pushed c5. Not at this level, at least. I've played with some higher rated players that have uh, done the early c5. Who's going to crack first? <laughs> Who is going to crack? I'm just going to continue developing as normal. Um, I'll probably play bishop d3 next and just look for the early castle. I can either do bishop d3 or get the knight out to d2 so I can just recapture. I don't quite want to push with the queen yet. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if it's time to take and then go pin his knight. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to really get a great chance to pin his knight here. I wonder if just trading off is the idea. I think that's better, right? Because it sort of removes an attacker off of the D pawn. Removes an attacker off the D pawn, and then I can kick his knight away, right? Isn't that the idea? Yeah, because if he plays B4, I don't really have like a great response to that. I'm really tempted to play e5 here. I'm just going to develop. I don't think it's the worst thing. I'm trying to reserve using the e-pawn to capture on the d-file if he takes with the pawn here. Okay. Mm. So I've been experimenting with just trading, ah, okay, with trading rooks off. With trading, uh, sorry, bishops off uh, on f4, and I've had decent success with it. The only problem is um, my e-pawn is defending, sorry, my e-pawn is defending the d-pawn. So I don't really want to recapture this way because then uh, there's going to be two attackers on the d-pawn. So, I'm almost tempted to just trade this way. Let's see. So, e5, trade, takes with the pawn. Yeah, I'm going to go e5 here. 
I might be making a mistake, but I guess we'll find out shortly, huh? The thing I like about knight e5 is that I can remove this pawn that's under attack, and then I can kick his knight at the same time. So he's going to be forced to make some decisions here. I just have a feeling he's going to come out a pawn for some reason after this whole exchange. Guess we'll see. Hmm. Maybe I could have went and pinned his knight. Maybe that was the idea. I think I've decided I don't really like playing the London system with the open H file. I know it's kind of like autopilot to hop back to g3 when the opponent plays d6 with the bishop. Um, but I feel like I don't play as well when that happens. So I kind of like trading off here. Hmm. Isn't that good for me? Isn't this good? Isn't this what I want? I could attack his queen. No, I don't really want to attack his queen. I want the knight to stay here. Need to get the knight out to d2. I think I think he's going to take, but either way, I'm going to still support. I have to be careful though when he uh when the D file gets opened up, I have to make sure not to lose uh, lose a queen here and take with the king. I either have to castle or play D2 next. One or the other. Yeah, this is still good. I think at this point I should try to attack his queen, perhaps. I don't know what's better here. See, I don't want to remove the defender from the bishop here. But maybe it's okay. Okay, so he'll take with the pawn. Then I can probably just take his pawn next. So I feel it. No, I can't take his pawn because then I'm going to be taking the defender off the bishop. I actually think this is okay. Yeah, this just puts two, two defenders on the knight. He's got two attackers, so I think this is okay. I basically just have to castle next next move. Um, I have two like very poorly placed bishops, so I feel like he might be able to take advantage of that somehow. But I'm kind of hoping he trades off, honestly. Okay, who, st who started this fight? I think he's... Mm -mm. I'm trying to figure out like who initiated this exchange. I think he initiated the exchange when he played c5, right? Or was it me when I played e5? Or was it him when he played d6? Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of just making conversation. It doesn't really matter. That's quite the move. I was not expecting that one. What does that do? Could try to kick this knight. What's his goal here?
What's the harm in trying to pin this knight here? Could try to shove my queen over here on h5 and look for check, but I know it's not going to work. Um, honestly, I'm just going to get the knight out and just offer the trade here. If he wants to take the F pawn, so be it. It's fine. I just pinned my queen. That really sucks. <gasps> I guess two can play that. Or can we play that? Bro. Uh, why? I needed to castle, bro. Uh, so unfortunate. Yeah, he checks me and then I have to take. Uh, that's so unfortunate, bro. Man, that is so unfortunate. Man. Why do I not see this? What a sack, bro. Well, not a sack, but what a trade. Man, it's so frustrating. All I needed to do was castle. I should have castled on this move. Man, that is really frustrating. Yeah, so even if I try to... um. Attack his queen. Boom. Takes. 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 So I'm just going to be losing a knight. Yeah, what can I really do? I guess maybe I have to do this in exchange or something. No, even then he just blocks, right? Yeah, this is really frustrating. I think the best thing to do, honestly, is just... Give up the queen on this square. I know it sucks, but... Uh, it's a real big bummer, man. That is a really big bummer. Yeah, I don't think there's anything better I could do there. That's just a really good move from him. Man, it's so frustrating. But what can you do? Road to 700, day one, episode one. It's okay. I'm going to play it out. Oh, jeez. This guy's just destroying me. Ugh, oh, bro. You're killing me. Best I can hope for is like try to find a fork or something. I guess I can look for the check. I'm gonna try to salvage one of these pieces. I think I can bring my dark square bishop back at some point. I can bring my dark square bishop back and then save it that way. That's probably like the best hope I have here. He has to block in with his light square bishop. That knight trade was so dumb. I should have just castled. Yeah. Oh, wow. He goes that way, huh? Um, I think this is even okay, because I can check him. Yeah, he just has to take, and I have to run back at this point. Mm. 
Yeah, this has to be played. I know he wins this piece, but... Or he wins this pawn, rather. He'll probably kick this knight. I mean, he hasn't castled yet, so that's something to consider. Okay. I do have this pawn. I kind of want to save this pawn, though. I think I have to, like, try and save everything that I have at this point. Man, what a move. I can't get over that. That's going to bother me all night. I'm going to lose sleep tonight. <laughs> no joke. Mm. I'm going to attack his queen. Probably losing this night. Can maybe go defend it. Wouldn't it be funny if he blundered his queen? That would be pretty funny, I think. It'd be funny if he was just so blood hungry for this rook here that he blunders his queen. No! <laughs> yeah, I had to check here. Uh, I think I just have to play on dark squares at this point. Right? Could continue to harass this queen, I guess. It's probably my best hope is just harassing his queen, isn't it? I could play here, but it just seems so risky. I think he'll be able to find a move that just attacks both. Mm. You know what? This game is so lost, I'm just going to play super risk. The funny part is, is that even if he takes one of my pieces and he blunders his queen, will be even. And if he would have just moved one spot, I could have gotten that. One square off. Mm. There's two defenders on that now. Looks like he's setting up. This way. Um. And if he wants to trade off, sure. It's either I move my knight and lose, or just don't do that. Probably need to push this pawn up at some point. Yeah, I'm just making sure to play on dark squares. Uh, obviously, besides my knight. Man, this check would be massive. 
Maybe just start attacking his queen. Make his queen a little bit uncomfortable. I, I want to push his queen out of the way. And then just look for the fork and just try to get um, like the rook here or something. <clears throat> yeah, I'm playing super risk here, so I feel like I am obligated to do something. Unconventional. I just want him to stop defending e7. That's like my main goal. If I can get e7, things might be looking up. Let's see. So I take take the rook. He takes back. If he takes with the rook, I probably won't trade off. I'll probably just go protect this pawn. But yeah, I'm just going to try this. Isn't there a chance for like a smothered mate or something here? Okay, well, winning his rook seems good. All right, but he has mate and one just lined up. I think this has to be played, right? We may be trading off rooks here, but I guess we'll see. If I was him, I would just trade the rooks off. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. Probably no reason not to do that. Well, it was an idea. <laughs> He's looking for this move. I don't think I can protect that square. No matter what I do, I can't protect G2. That's like an 04 is like a check here or something. I guess I guess I could block in here and just trade off. And then it would just be my rook and my bishop against his queen and his rook. Let's check, but it just seems pointless. Hmm. I think I have to block this in. I mean, honestly, if I can get my rook into his back rank, that'd be pretty sick. That would be pretty cracked, huh? I think I'm just going to do... Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. So he's <laughs> he's giving up the rook, but... That's just a lost position no matter what. 
It's almost like I have to play the check here or something. Yeah, if I play check, he just plays queen g2. I have to give up the rook or something. If I give up the rook on c2, like, yeah, I can win his rook, but there's just almost no chance that I'm winning this. Well, plus when he gets the rook, he still has g2 open anyway. So yeah, this is, this is a trap. What a crap spot for the king. What a just horribly crap spot. Yeah, this is mate. Yeah, there's just no chance here. Only thing I see is just trying to delay the inevitable with like rook c2. The pawns can't do anything. Yeah, see, this is why I'm always really hesitant to move pawns because I feel like I end up in situations like this. I know I've gotten a lot of I guess feedback recently on like why I don't move pawns and it's exactly for this reason. <laughs> uh I just don't know what to do, man. I don't know what to do. I know the right thing to do is probably just to give up, but hmm. I guess if I give up the rook, I could probably, like, move the king over to the f-file, at least. I don't know. I think c2 is the only thing I can do here. I sort of have to delay this move here. But even then, he just plays queen. Eh, yeah, it's pretty GG, but I, I don't think there's any there's any stopping this one. And he just plays queen g2, and it's checkmate. Feels bad. I tried to hold on there. Yeah, knight d2 and then queen taking really screwed me over there. That was probably where the game just fell apart. Yeah, taking with the queen here just wasn't the play. Yep, so I'm going to keep the game review like really short on this one. I don't think it's worth going too deep into this one. Uh, basically, it just fell apart in one move. Um, in this position, the knight wasn't really threatening anything, and I really needed to castle, and I just failed to recognize that this was open in my pawn structure was basically crap at this point so a tough loss a tough loss but and maybe honestly i should have just kept the knight here and just castled anyway no i couldn't even do that i wonder how this would have went if i had just taken this pawn the engine say black has a little bit of an advantage here okay 
see. I think I played the book move C4, right? I think C4 was like an okay move. Okay, so it looks like knight f3 is a little bit better here. And then what does he play? Knight f6? Okay. And then I'm just wondering if I should play c3 or c4. Okay, so c3 is more of a book move. Yeah, I think I'm going to start doing this when playing the London system. So um, instead of trying to go for this early c4, I don't know, I just feel more comfortable with like trying to keep sort of a pawn on the D file. <clears throat> and then if takes takes, I'd rather play with this open E file. Um, I think going forward because it prevents uh, p uh, his queen or his bishop from occupying, uh, especially this square B4. B4 and B2 are like the kill squares in the London system I'm learning, so. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. The dreaded down button. Let's see if there was any horrible mistakes here. So the engine wants to trade here. Uh, it's a bit shocking because normally the engine recommends like falling back. I actually thought e5 was okay. Because what I was imagining was this nice fork here. Yeah, a lot of players at this level go for the knight trade here. Um, but this... This fella didn't quite go for it. Wonder why recapturing C4 was bad here. Taking the knight. Hmm, I guess he has to play that, huh? Oh wow, I could have like made a triple stacked pawn there. Takes D6, yeah. And then takes on c4. Oh, sure. Yeah, would have had a much better structure this way. Mm, yeah. Okay. Well, definitely some lessons learned here. Um, I'm going to remember this queen move for a long time. And uh, yeah, it's going to cause me to lose some sleep tonight. But uh, it's okay. Tomorrow's a new day. <laughs> we learn and we move on. But anyways, thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one.